History Spotlight, brought to you by HEC Media and the Missouri Historical Society. Hi, I'm Dr. Jody Sowell, President of the Missouri Historical Society in St. Louis, and this is History Spotlight. Lawyer and activist Margaret Bush Wilson broke many barriers as an African-American woman throughout her life. Public historian Cecily Hunter walks us through her career highlights. Margaret Bush Wilson blazed her own path during the time of the civil rights movement as a black woman attorney in St. Louis. She served on the local board of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, as well as on the national board. She was born to James T. and Margaret Bush in 1919. She was raised in the Ville, which was at that time a black neighborhood that was segregated. In that neighborhood, there were many black professionals that came together in the Ville. And so she would even come across people like Julia Davis, who was her third grade teacher and taught her. Margaret Bush Wilson would participate and take part in the Ville neighborhood and all that it had to offer. She even was um, a student at Sumner High School where she became a valedictorian of her class. She pursued her undergraduate degree at Talladega College where she finished in 1940 with honors. A year prior in 1939, Wilson was awarded through the Julia Derricotte Fellowship Study Abroad Program, which brought her to six different countries, and she met Mahat Gandhi, who motivated her to join the fight for civil rights. Her education continued in the Ville at Lincoln University School of Law, where she became the second black woman to practice law in Missouri by 1943. Her interest in legal systems led her to become involved in the landmark case, Shelley v. Kramer, 1948. She assisted with the legal proceedings following the Jefferson Bank demonstration and served the local community with Wilson and Associates for over 40 years. Next week on History Spotlight, the love story between President Ulysses S. Grant and his wife, Julia. To learn more about the Missouri Historical Society, visit mohistory.org.